as yet. Um, we have one or two doubts still. That has also to do with um, a few uncertainties of players, whether would, they would be fit for the full game or not. Uh, and the choice will be made after the last training session, where all the players will go full speed 100%. And what do you think you've learned from the, the Montenegro game? You obviously look back at that, the most recent game. And what can you improve in the, the scoring department, if you like? Ukraine is listening also. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we say about that? We, uh, we've been working on more purposeful possessional play so that our passes have a meaning. And that leads to uh, more pressure forward. I would, I would like to keep it with that, if you don't mind. Katie, how's it been for you, uh, new manager and the, the game coming up? Yeah, it's been terrific. Obviously, we met Vera uh, straight after the, uh, the Montenegro game, but it, uh, it's been all systems go ever since. Um, we've, we've met on Tuesday. Um, it's been terrific. I know we know how Vera uh, wants to bring us forward, um, and myself and the girls are, are really eager to get going now tomorrow night. The fact that the game has, uh, has sold out effectively, I mean, what, how big a boost is that going to be for you guys? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, obviously, it was spoken about uh, after the Montenegro game. It was, I know there's obviously the FAI and 20 by 20 campaign uh, doing all they can to, to get it sold out. And obviously, when we got the news as players and staff, I know we were ecstatic um, to see that. For us, um, it's important to, to let the fans know it's how important they are to us by getting us over the line. Um, it is sold out, so for us, it is every ticket counts. Make sure people are coming um, and seeing us and, and supporting us and getting behind us. We mentioned striking. You, you scored the last day. Uh, late enough in the game, of course. Um, you know, are, are there specific plans with you in mind in terms of scoring more goals? Of course, I always want to score more goals, but as Vera said, um, what we've been working on is, is having purposeful possession and um, having a purpose when using the ball. and and how we can be effective going forward, and so that's something we've been working on in training this week. Hi, Vera. You've had time now to work with and assess your squad. What are, your main, what are the squad's main strengths, you feel? Well, the Irish culture is the main strength. <laughs> that is the starting point. Fighting all forward. fighters, they're all going for 100%. And that is the strength, core strength of this team. Um, then we have identified that we have um, a few very creative players um, and we had very disciplined players um, and we are setting up in a way that we get the strength out of each player. So we're using the players that have the talent to be 90% disciplined, we use that side of them uh, and we el eliminate what they're not so good at and the creative players get the freedom to bring in that creativity with those disciplined players to making that happen for them. So um, we, uh, as I said before, we identify what kind of players we have, we take the strength out of them, we eliminate what they're not so good in, so that we get the best on the pitch, and that's what we've been working on. Are you trying to achieve results in any way possible, or do you want to get results playing a certain style? No, no, it's all related to results. So this is the national, the national team. If we have, um, for example, a friendly tournament, then you can try out a few things. But uh, tomorrow it's just about getting a result. And that could be that we decide during the game that a draw is a result. But we start off with that um, we're going for a win. We will always do that. Katie, would you go along with that? Is, is it a must win? Yeah, of course. We're going to be obviously doing everything we can to win the game. But as Vera said, given the nature of the game, maybe the draw will be the result that we, we need to go for. Um, obviously, we set up to to get the best out of the game, which is obviously the, the win. Um, but we're just, we're, as players, obviously we're, we're happy with how training has went. We're really enjoying the sessions under Vera and, um, and, and how we want to play and how we're playing to our strengths, and I think that's most important. Yeah, and you touched on it there that tomorrow's game is a sellout and it's a massive boost, but it, 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 does that also bring a little bit of pressure, perhaps, to the players? No, I think um, we're, we've, we've played... Um, in big crowds, obviously, recently the, the USA game, we, we know the, the nature and the, the stature of the game. Um, for us, it's, it's fantastic to have all those 8,000 Irish fans, obviously, the few Ukraine fans as well. 
Um, to have them Irish fans behind us is, is absolutely uh, important and I'm looking forward to going out tomorrow and, and having them behind us for the, for the 90 minutes. And how, uh, how do you beat Ukraine? What are they like? How do you assess them? Well, obviously we've been looking um, at their, their, their strengths and quality. They're, they're a, a tall, powerful team with um, a lot of good players and what we've touched on in training is how to stop their, their strengths and, and, uh, and how we can obviously counteract that with, with our strengths and, and how we go forward. So. We've 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 worked on ways to do it, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get out there tomorrow and obviously do everything we can to to get the result. Thank you.